In today's video, we're testing out a robotic lawnmower, the Mamotion Luba 2. It's very easy to set up, no need to dig a perimeter around your property. It's all done through its advanced 3D vision and RTK fusion mapping system. You can program it completely to cut the grass in different areas and when it's done, it'll head over to the charging station all by itself. Start charging. Ooh, this was really fun to test out and you might wonder how durable is something like this? I mean, how tough is it? Do the blades break easily? So, to answer that question, we put it through some pretty challenging tests. Fun! Okay, let's get into it. Yep, that is... That is the lawnmower. FedEx guy was like, oh, let me know how this works because I've been kind of looking at this myself. So, I'm kind of excited. If this works, we have a lot of lawn. So, what have we got here? A nicely packaged unit, specifically the Luba 2 all-wheel drive 5000H. There are surprisingly few parts. The lawnmower for the most part already comes assembled. A couple of things to add. When we first got it I thought it really seems like a little robot. Very cute. Of course we have to look underneath and see what it looks like. So you can see we have eight blades, all removable. And the blades are more like razor blades than traditional lawnmower blades. The wheels, also interesting. They're omnidirectional, so they can move backwards and forwards and sideways. So with this you can really make tight turns and sharp corners. Okay, so we have the main unit and then we have the parts for the charging station. To get the mower operational it needs eyes, right? So here's a little camera unit and you simply screw the camera on top of the mower. Easy enough for a six-year-old. We also have this bumper to connect in the front to protect it and of course we need to put in the little red key in order for it to work. Now for the charging station. It's made up of a, a little area for the mower to dock and it also has an antenna. And it's moving. It seems quite robust, doesn't it? It's easy to drag using the app and we're bringing it in the back where we're putting the charging station. Now the company is suggesting that the higher the base station is installed the better because the signal will be more stable. Um, well we're just gonna put it where we have an outlet. <laughs> Here is that charging station and so this is where it's gonna go to sleep and get energy. This is a pretty long wire. You know you have some room like here to move. is part of the RTK base station, which communicates with the mower. RTK stands for Real-Time Kinematic. It's a satellite based positioning technology, which is why we need the antenna. The lawnmower also uses LoRa. If you're familiar with microcontrollers and sensors, then you'll find this interesting. LoRa is a low power, wide area network protocol used for wireless communication. It allows the mower to communicate with the base station or other devices. Start charging. Ooh. Yeah. Kind of cool. So it's charging um, and it is set up in place. Now, of course, the next step is to actually map out the area that you want to have it cut. There. Okay, so you. So as we first started, you know, playing with this, I was curious right off the bat, how much grass can you actually mow on one charge? This uses a lithium battery. Turns out with this particular model, you can move up to one and a quarter acres or 5,000 square meters. Um, and that's pretty massive. And I can say after testing it out a bunch of times, we've never run out of power. It's first night in its new home. It is all charged up. Okay, so we mapped out a little area here and we're seeing how it's going to do now going around. If it's going to work or not. The grass is not super long right now, so... So it did 30% so far and we get 9 minutes left. And it's doing a good job making the turns and everything. So, how does it work? How do you map out where you want it to cut? Well, basically, you use the app and you walk around with the mower steering it on your phone, kind of like a radio controlled car. The brand suggests that you map it 10 centimeters from any dangerous edge, which is still pretty close. 
then once you've walked around your zone, kind of like walking your dog, you got it programmed. You can also add no-go zones if you have a tree in the middle or something like that. So you've basically told it, okay, this is where you should cut and this is where you should not cut. <laughs> Start charging. <laughs> that is really cool. How <laughs> it just like finds its way in perfectly and... Now this mower comes in two versions that relates to the height of the grass. A standard version with the cut height is 1 to 2.7 inches and then a high cut version where the cut height is 2.2 to 4 inches. We pick the taller grass version because a lot of our grass in some areas is quite tall. Um, that means it's not going to cut it super low. We did one area first which it did, and then we mapped out another area thinking it would do that one. And then it combined the two, but you had to set it that it should only cut the, the second area. So you could either do combined or, or individual areas, which is kind of neat. So look at that, she's kind of going across. One thing I'm finding kind of interesting is how it's making up its own path as it's cutting an area. It's not always what you would expect. It takes a weird turn and moves around and, you know, it gets it done. But then I read in the instructions that it utilizes some unique algorithm that introduces slight deviation in the moving path with each operation to ensure that the wheels do not repeatedly roll over the same area. So I guess that's what it's doing. So you can see the nice lines in the grass. Noise was something uh, I was concerned about. However, it is very quiet. It's rated to be below 60 decibels, and I believe it, it is not loud. So once you've programmed it, like where to go, how often to do it, every five to six days perhaps in the summer, you don't have to do anything. You can just forget about it. Um, which is what happened to me here. I was inside before cooking and, wash and washing dishes and I'm just looking out and I see something, you know, at the corner of my eye moving around and uh, there you go. It's the lawnmower and it's kind of cute. <laughs> and it, I, I like the idea that while you're doing something else, it's doing its job, right? If you want to see a live view though of what it's cutting, you can turn the camera on on your phone and see exactly where it's going. So that's a safety feature that you have control over. You can also push the stop button on top at any time. Um, supposedly it has a, an intelligent obstacle avoidance system, whatever that means. Now if it were to fall or get displaced in some way, it has a lift tilt sensor which automatically stops the blade. Okay, so now to durability. And to me, okay, that means how tough is the unit itself and how easily do the blades break. Remember, it has these rather small razor blade style blades. It's definitely pretty tough in terms of climbing. Here we're driving up and down a gravel hill. You're not using the cutter, of course, just the driving. And uh, it's kind of fun to drive around, actually. Supposedly, it can climb up to um, an 80% slope or 38 degrees. Got stuck a few times, but we got it out. The other thing is taking it through rough grass and weeds and sticks. Our other riding lawn mower, um, the blades as well as the belt, has broken quite a few times as we've been, you know, running over larger sticks. So I was thinking this tiny unit probably would not be able to handle riding over sticks very well. However, we have tried that exact thing a bunch of times now and uh, this is what it looks like underneath after one of those slightly abusive sessions some grass stuck but you know no chipping no blades broken nothing breaking in fact I actually took it down to our neighbor's yard at one point which is about 300 feet away from the charging dock and the antenna I was curious if it would work at all but we had no issues so if you were entrepreneurial and you wanted to start an automatic business cutting your neighbor's lawns, um, this might be a good candidate. Anyway, this unit has been quite the topic of conversation with our neighbors. Um, everybody thinks it's so cute and wants to know how it works. A few times we've had to restart it. Uh, if you're mapping out an area or if you stop it and it needs to reset. Um, so it's not, you know, completely without faults. But overall I think it is a robust little mower with a lot of really cool features. And the automatic aspect of setting a schedule and forgetting about it is uh, pretty cool. And that of course is without having to dig a perimeter around your property, which would be a lot of work. 
So if you're interested in this unit, check out the link in the description below. Let me know if you have any thoughts or questions in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.